Hi, welcome to Centering and Strengthening. Today is Balance Day. So last week we did a lot of movement. Today we're going to do a lot of standing still and trying to train our neuromuscular system to hold us up in case we fall or trip or whatever we need to do. But we're going to start with a warm up. You can be in your bare feet or even in your socks for this, depending on the floor you're on. I'd like you to get your head over your tailbone, your belly button to your spine. Let's breathe that up three times. Take it up and down, two more up and down. Last time up and down. And let's go side to side, foot behind the heel. Swing those arms so you get the lats and shoulders involved. Let's do eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now reach up, turn and turn. You've got it. We've got eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Push through with that knee. We want to take it up as high as that hip. On the um, eighth one, we're going to go to a uh, quad stretch. Last three, three, and two, and one. Bring it behind your best. Whoops, I'm going to slide back here a little bit because I'm coming out of screen. Come on behind and lift your body up out of that stretch. Down to the other side. You put that other knee up. Come on, bend, uh, point that toe so you get that nice long extension through the hip. And you have four more. Let's go. Four and three and two. And last one. Let's bring it behind. And again, I'm lifting up and pull it out of, and out of the screen again. Sorry about that. All right. Take it way back here. Feet are facing forward. Go side to side. Sit into the glute. Not into the hip, right? Into the glute. Four more. Four and three and two. Now really sit behind it on one. Toes are up. Take the arms out and turn toward the bent knee. Nice big stretch. Inhale and exhale and over to the other side. Lift to the ceiling. Come on and dive through the center right here. Dive. Reach all the way through, let that back open up and then walk your hands out for tabletop, heel toe, your feet back in. Curl yourself up vertebrae by vertebrae and side to side again. We're going to get some opening in those hips today. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now reach up. Yes. So lift. Arms to the ceiling. Open up that way. Four and three and two and one. Let's get to the center and open everything up. Roll the shoulders back for eight, seven, six, five, four, three. To the front, take it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We bring our arm across, guide our head over our nice aligned body. Inhale and exhale over to the other side. Make sure you're opening with a breath. Bring the arms to the butt and open your chest. And the back of the hands together, opening your back. Don't push your shoulders forward, just open your back. Nice. Hands down, hips to the waist. Uh, <clears throat> make sure your knees are soft. Eight sets. Three, four, good job. Five, perfect. Six, and seven, and eight. Let's take that circle, take it around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Breathe it up three times. Good. And down. Two more. And down. Last time. All right. And start with parallel legs. So we're going to do a little bit of our bar. Then we're going to do a little bit of our balance. So just to get started, get your head over your tailbone. I want us to use arms with this today. I usually give you the option of having your hands on your hips, but let's use the arms to engage the lats and the shoulders. So take it out. And in. So this an inhale out and then exhale in. You're exhaling into neutral spine. Four, three, good job. Two, one. I went backwards. <laughs> We're at eight now. Eight, nine. We're going for 27. Uh, there we go again. 10, 10. I don't know why I'm going backwards. Nine. Be patient with me. Eight. We want to make sure we're centered. Seven. We. I know our body wants to go over there. Six. But let's try to stay centered. Five and four, three more, and two, and one. Now I want little taps right here. Get your head over your tailbone. 
Put your arms out into this nice round circle. One, two, three, low, four, five, six, seven, and eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, and three, and two, and one. Bring it in. Degage. So we're going to slide out and lift. And two, and three, and four. Good job. Five, and six, and seven. Slide it back to position. Eight, and nine, and ten, and ten, and nine, and eight, and seven, and six. Last five, and four, and three, and two, and hold it up here on one little um, pulse to the ceiling for 10. One, two, drop your shoulder blades. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Tap downs for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, let's bring it in. Soft knee, extend, soft knee, and bring it in. Take it up, soft knee, extend, and one. Take it up. Soft knee, extend, and two. Take it out. Soft knee, extend, and three, four. So what soft knee means five is you don't let your foot come under your uh, knees. Six, so it's a halfway bend. Seven, right? Eight, soft knee, extend. Nine, good. Ten more after this one. And ten, soft knee, extend. And a nine, soft knee, extend. And eight, soft knee, extend. Seven, and six, good job. Last five, perfect. Four, two, and three, are we feeling like a line? And two, like we're right, we're trees. And one, now pulse to the ceiling for 10. One, two, three, four, five. Now remember, Seven, eight, you can always be using a prop to help your balance. Now extend one and two and three and four and five and six, dog hair. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now you're going to touch down and lift, bend and extend. Two, nice. Three, you've got it. Four, good job. Five. Six, do I look like a river dancer? Seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, bring it in. Now we're gonna stay in this position. We're not moving out to the side yet. I want you to bring your arms around, kind of closer together, drop those shoulder blades. And we're gonna do a jazz passe. So the knee goes up and down. Two, nice. Three, point that toe. Four. Good job. Get your head over your tailbone. Five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to come a little closer because we're going to do something behind us. Nine and ten. Take it out. One, two, three. Nice. Four, five, six, seven. You've got it. Eight. Nine and 10. Now bring it back and side. Two. So we're bringing it back to a degage position. Three. You've got it. Now you're going to feel a lot of weight on that other leg. Five. So you want to get as centered as possible. Six. Good. Seven. I'm going to hit a dog. Eight. Reach back. Nine. Reach back. And 10. Reach back. Slide it in. Now I want you to take that whole rotation one time with your eyes open and the next five times with your eyes closed. So let's take it up. We go up, side, extend, and in. So now close your eyes. This is all about training your body to be balanced. I know it's a lot more useful if the dog isn't in your way. Let me move this so you can get on the couch if you want to. Okay, buddy, go ahead. He won't, but because I made it possible, he won't. All right, close your eyes, knee up to the side, extend back, slide it in. Knee up to the side, back, slide it in. Knee up 
to the side, back slide it in, knee up to the side, back slide it in, last one, knee up to the side, back slide it in. Great job. So one of the things I'm doing is I'm moving you rather than keeping you parallel the whole time. Because it's easier to keep ourselves straight, but when we trip, it's not because we're on the parallel, right? We're always out to the side. So we're gonna do that routine to the side on the same leg. So remember, you can always have a prop. Prop, not a prop. Yeah, gosh. And, or, Hombe. Three, don't let the foot turn out. Four, five, six, Get your head over your tailbone, seven. So when we go to the side sometimes, eight, in order to balance ourselves, we pitch a little forward, nine. So make sure your head's over your tailbone, 10 more. Good, 10, nine, you've got it. Eight, perfect, seven, six, last five, and four, and three, and two. Now hold it here on my little tap. It's one, two, this is 20, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to that degage. Now you want to pull over here a lot with your upper body so that you can feel like you're balancing yourself a little bit. So one of the things you might do is just that arm out to the side. Let's go. One, you've got it. Two, slide it in. Three, good job. Four, perfect. Five. Now, remember, you can also bend the second leg, six, in order to get your back in ease, seven, if that's a problem for you, eight, good job, nine, and 10 more, 10, nice pointed foot, nine, you've got it, eight, now there's going to be some wobbling over to the side, seven, six, that's how it goes, five, it would be great if we can, four, if we can keep ourselves perfectly centered, it's kind of hard to do, three, especially when you're going side, two, and hold it up here on one little pulses. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, the touch down. One, two, bigger ones, three, than what you did on the first set. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Slide it in. Soft knee. Let's do it. Good. Take it out. Soft knee. Extend. Slide it in. Take it out. Soft knee. Extend. And two. Take it out. Soft knee, extend, and three. Take it out, soft knee, extend, and four. Out, soft knee, extend, and five. Watch that pitch forward. Soft knee, extend, six, seven. Get your breathing in there so that you exhale back. Eight, so you want that belly button to the spine. Nine, good. And 10 more. 10, good. Nine, perfect. Eight, you've got it. And seven, perfect. And six, keep going, good. Last five, and four, and three, nice. And two, and one, hold that knee and lift. Two, three, four, five, I can tell, six. I'm not gonna be able to do this that well on the other side, eight nine and 10 and extend and one, extend and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10. Now we extend, touch down, lift up and bend. 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 Six more. And five, and four, good. And three, and two, and one, and slide it in. So now we're going to do the ballet passe. So it's going to change what we just did in the last routine. Get your head over your tailbone. There'll be 10 of these, and we'll do the one and five. So take it up and one, up and two. Sorry, ballet, I said ballet. Take your foot to the side. Let's start again. Up and one, lift and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, you've got it, and 10. Now to the front, one, two. So it's the same thing, three, as you did before, except you're going in the opposite direction, five, six, because we got to make sure we have this from every side of our body, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Drive it back, one, knee, two, good, three, perfect, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, you've got it, and 10, slide it in. Okay, let's try one with our eyes open, five with our eyes closed. So we take our leg out to the side, you keep everything else centered, bring your arms up so you get yourself lifted into your alignment position, take it up, front, back, and, and slide it in. Take it back out, up to the front, take it back, slide it in. So I did two, so you can see the proper way of doing it. Now we're going to close our eyes. Take it out to the side, close your eyes, bring it up, front, extend, and in to the side. Up and front, extend, and good. Side up and front, extend, and three. Up and front, extend, and four. Make sure you turn it front, extend, and five. Nice job. Okay, we're gonna do the routine to the back a lot different. So we're going to come forward in an arabesque. Again, your legs are parallel. Again, your dog is a pain in the butt. Would you like to get up there? Just say so. Let's go, buddy, go up, go up, come on, go up. No, okay, get out of the way then. All right, we're going to slide back and create a parallel to the floor. Take it up and one. Lift and two. Lift and three. Four. Nice pointed leg. You want a long line from your head five all the way to the toe. And we're only doing ten. Six. Good job. Seven. Eight. Good job. And again, you can bend the front knee if you want to. Nine. And hold it up here on 10 and touch down. One, two, three. Make sure you get as parallel as you can. Four, you can hold on. I don't know where I can hold on to here. Five, you can hold on to something. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Bring yourself up before we go to the next position. So we're gonna have the leg out. We're gonna bring the knee to the chest and then slide it back in, okay, and bring ourselves up. So the leg is out. Please stop doing this. Go lie down, go. I don't know what message she's trying to convey, but it's obviously very anxious. So take it out, knee in, extend, and slide it in. So you bring yourself back up. 10 of those, that's your first one. So lift, knee in, extend, and bring it in. Eight, take it back, knee in, extend, and bring it in. This is gonna challenge your balance more than anything else, even though it's along a parallel line. Four, knee in, extend, and bring it in. See, sometimes you have to touch down. Five, knee in, extend, and bring it in. Six, knee in, Extend and bring it in. Seven, knee in. Extend and bring it in. Eight, knee in. Extend and bring it in. Nine, knee in. Extend and bring it in. And 10, knee in. Extend and bring it in. Okay, come back to the center. Let's take a squat before we go over to the other side, okay? All right. I'm still not warm enough to take my toe, my socks. I probably want to be, but I'm not. All right, head over tailbone. It's kind of a sedate workout today. Let's go to the other side. If you have a prop, move it. Make sure your shoulders are in alignment. Using our arms, Tande out for 20. One, good. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, good. Keep your head over your tailbone. And 10 more. 10, nine, 
eight, seven, six, last five, and four, and three, and two, and tap. One, nice and low. Three, four, five, lift your head. This is a great time, nine, 10, to work on your alignment. Just lift everything. I, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and slide it back in on one. All right, I saw my legs starting to float out to a turnout. So I always have to check. I look down for a second and then I have to put it back into position. So, you know, you don't want to look down very often, but you do a check to make sure things are happening. On, uh, deja, deja, deja. Take it up and one. Lift and two. Lift and three. Nice long leg. Four. Good. Five. You've got it. Six. Seven. Eight, again, you can have that other leg bent. Nine, if you need to. Ten more, nice pointed leg. Really pull it out there. One, nope, falling backwards. Two, you want to stay in alignment. Three, good job. Four, five, perfect. Six, you've got it. Seven, eight, nine, good job. And 20, lift for 10. One, two, three, four, five, Hurt myself six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Touchdown. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We go to that soft knee. Nice job, you guys. Get your head over your tailbone. Don't let anything fall forward, right? Take it out, soft bend, extend. That's one. Take it out, soft bend, extend. That's two, three. Nice. Four. Nice. Five. Six. Really bring it back. Seven. You want to get it. Inhale all the way back so you're lifting up as you come down. Eight. Good. Keep going. Nine. Ten. Ten more. Ten. Lifting up at the end. Nine. Eight. And seven and six. I'm still seeing that leg start to drift out. Five, put it back in. All right, it feels awkward. Four, when I put it correct, it feels uh, like it's working against my structure, but it's the proper position. Two and one, knee to the ceiling. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Lift up three, two, and one. Extend one and two and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and 10. Here we go. Take it out, touch, bring it in, and bend. Two, good job. Three, I can't do this because of my knee. Four, extend, touch, bend. Five, extend, touch, bend. Six, extend, touch, bend. Seven, extend, touch, bend. Eight, extend, touch, bend. Nine, extend, touch, bend, and 10, extend, touch, and bend. All right, get yourself aligned for the jazz passe, right? Good. In and one, lift and two, right? We're making those arms join us. Four, five, six, seven, eight, so as you go down, you can hear me exhaling nine because I'm pulling everything apart. And 10, bring it up there, take it out to the side. One, and two, three, four, good job. Five, six, good. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now take it back. One, perfect. Two, so when you drive it back, the knee faces forward. Three, so you're rotating the leg a little bit. Four, let me show you from the side if I can. All right, you're here. Five, take it back, then back to the side. Six, seven, eight, yeah, there you got it. Nine and 10. Now we're gonna do one, one with the eyes open, five with the eyes closed. So let's get ourselves prepared. Take it up, side back, slide it in. So you can do that with your eyes closed. That's a pretty simple one. Close your eyes, knee up to the side, take it back and one. Knee up 
to the side, take it back, and two, knee up to the side, take it back, don't let it drop until it's time to slide it in, up to the side, back, and four, last one, up to the side, back, and five. All right, let's take another squat, and then we're gonna go out to the side and repeat what we did on the other side. So much fun. Good. Get your head over your tailbone. Drop your shoulder blades. Good job. Out and one. Let's go. Out and two. Let's do a bent arm deltoid raise. Four, five, six. Try to center. Seven, eight. Pull that belly in. Nine and ten more. One and two and three and four and five. Keep going. Six, seven, you got it. Eight, nine, good. And hold it here. Tiny top, top taps. One, two, three. Get your head over your tailbone. Five, five, six, seven, eight. Keep your foot forward. Ten more. Don't let it turn out, right? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Slide it in, lift yourself up, degage. Take it out and one. Lift and two. Lift and three. Now one, there's a part in ballet where you do this, four, and then there's a part where you're on the board and you come all the way over, five. That's not what we're doing today. So six, because we're not seven, we're not in that position. We're in this position, eight, so we're doing the smaller lift, nine, to get that height. Ten more. Good. Ten. Nine. You've got it. Eight. Perfect. Seven. I've got to bend my knee a little bit. Six. Last five. Four. You're beautiful. Three. Point it out. Two. Get your head over your tailbone. Don't pinch forward. One. Little lips. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Out. Three two and take it down one two from that height three so it's higher than the last one four five six seven eight nine and ten slide in bring yourself up drop those shoulder blades soft knee it's so much fun good job take it out soft knee extend that's one take it out soft knee extend and two make sure everything stays pointed you including your attitude four soft knee extend and in five soft knee extend and in six soft knee extend and in seven good i finally got warm eight <laughs> good because my heart rate went up nine that's perfect and ten more Whew. and it's ten good and nine you got it eight Nice, seven and six, you got it. Last five and four and three and two. And here we go, lift to the ceiling. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10 to the extension. One and two and three, and four, you keep going, five, and six, and seven, and stay there, eight, and nine, and hold that, bend, take it out, touch down, bring it up, and one, take it out, touch down, bring it up, and two, three, four, five, good job, six, don't you feel super balanced? Seven, because you can do all this work off the floor. Eight with one paw, good. Nine and 10, and here we go. Okay, so now to the ballet passe. Get every tip them. So 10 coming up, then going to the side, then going back, and then we do the combination. Let's go. Take it up and one, or to the front. Up and two, lift and three, lift and four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
and hold it up here on 10. Take it one and two, pull yourself up. Three, balance is stand, uh, lifting. Four, five, you heard me say that before. Six, seven, good job. Eight, nice. Nine and 10, take it back. One and two and three and four, woohoo. Five, sorry, there goes my knee. Six, seven, eight, good job. Nine and 10. Now we're gonna do the combination. One with our eyes open, five with our eyes closed. Start to the side, bring it up to the front, extend and one and take it back to the side. Okay, close your eyes, let's do the next five. Up, front, back and two, turn up, front, back and three, turn up, front, back and four, turn up, front, back and five. Brilliant. Okay, going to the back. We're going to the big lift. Let's go. One, only 10, two, three, good job. Four, five, point it up. Six, seven, you've got it. Eight, nine, slide it in. You don't just drop it beside its friend. And 10, touch up and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Bring it up. Now, remember, knee to the front and extend. We're going to do 10 of them. This is not an eyes closed situation. All right, so you take it out, knee up, extend, and one. Take it out, knee up, extend, and two. My knee is not holding me. Out, knee up, extend, and three. Take it out, knee up, extend, and four. Take it out, knee up. See how strength and balance are connected? And five. Take it out, knee up. Extend and six. Take it out, knee up, extend and seven. I'm not lifting in the back because my knee's just not gonna take it. And eight, take it out, knee up, extend and nine. Take it out, knee up, extend and 10. Let's take another squat. So one of the things that you get to see is me working through my body issues, right? I got hip problem and knee problem on the same side. So those things tend to give out when they're being depended on for the isolated strength of any movement. Okay, so we're gonna do something else. You have time to bring it around behind you. So you have one leg forward, you have the toes of the other leg behind you. All right, so I want you to take a demi plie and then kick up, down and two, down and three, down and four. Five, six, you can use your arms. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now, I'm gonna have you do the exact same thing, eyes closed. There's a lot of support in this. You get to bend your knee, you have a lot of support in it, so it should be a little bit easier than what you did, just did. Ready? Close your eyes. <laughs> Don't be afraid, down and kick, two, kick, three. What I like about this four, five, you're more likely to fall when you're moving. Six, we're not standing in place when we fall like we do in our body. Seven, so this helps you mimic that uh, condition. Eight, nine, and 10. All right, let's go to the other side. Let's see what my knee does on this side. All right, foot forward, the other one, with the heel or the toes behind the heel. Get your head over your tailbone. A little bit of a lunge or a plie right here. Take it down and one. Down and two. Down and three. Down and four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. All right, let's do it with our eyes closed. Take it back, close your eyes, and then it's, the interesting question is, which leg, which side needs less support for balance than the other side, right? So down and one, eyes closed, come on, two. You can do this, 
three, good job, four, and I'm not bending as much, five, because again, my knee is six, seven, eight, nine, good job, and 10, and bring it back to the center. Now we're gonna take that idea and cross it over. So we just have a little more time, about three more minutes. So we're gonna take 10 across to one side, 10 across to the other, followed by closed eyes. All right, arms up, foot is, opposite foot is on the toe, and across for 10. One, touch down, two, three, four, good. Five, perfect, six, seven, eight, good job. Nine, and 10, close your eyes. One, two, three, good job, four, Eyes closed, five, six, seven, ouch. That was my knee, eight, nine, and 10. Release it down, let's go to the other side. Then we go back into slow motion before we leave. All right, one, touch your toe, two, three, all right, four, oh, I'm right, close already, six, seven, eyes are open, eight, nine, and 10, close your eyes. One, two, three, good. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, good job, and 10, and bring it down. I'd like you to shake your hips side to side, straighten those legs out to a larger position. Take a nice deep breath. We're gonna lunge, lift up. Slow, two, we're gonna do one, two, three, four, right here. Three, one, two, three, four. Four, one, two, three, four. Five, one, two, three, four. Six, one, two, three, four. Seven, one, two, three, four. Eight, one, two, three, four. Nine, one, two, three, four and 10, one, two, three, four, close your eyes. One, bring it up, two, one, two, three, four, three, bring it up first, one, two, three, four, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, bring it up, good, seven, eight, keep your eyes closed, that was fast. Nine, one, two, three, four, and 10, one, two, three, four, and the other side. Let's go. Got it? Down, one, two, three, four. Eyes open. Two, one, two, three, four. I'm not going very deep. Three, good. One, two, three, four. Four, one, two, three, four. If anything, I'm an example. Five of how you can keep working out. Six, even though you have. Parts that need attention, seven, one, two, three, four, eight, one, two, three, four, nine, one, two, three, four, ten. We're gonna close our eyes. Take it over. Lift two, three, four, two, one, two, three, four, three, one, two, three, four, four, one, two, three, four, five. Good, six, nice job. Seven, one, two, three, four, eight, one, two, three, four, nine, one, two, three, four, and 10, one, two, three, four, and lower it down, you did it. So take your legs wide and sit back into a sumo squat. So sumo squats have a little bit of a turnout, so you can turn your toes out. Good, and then you're gonna straighten your legs and walk over to one side and pull your chest toward that thigh. Walk it over and pull your chest toward this thigh. Yes, and walk it forward. We're gonna get that back and come onto your downward facing dog. So push through your hands, I'm gonna take this to the side. Push through your hands. You might want to put a mat under you. 
point me down the other heel and switch. Okay, take one leg up, put it through your hands and lower the back leg and lift yourself up now. So hopefully you have something under your knee. We're gonna push ourselves forward first, get that hip in the back. Then we're gonna bring ourselves up and flex the front foot. Take our chest down beside the knee to the center, center of the body. Now we're going to stretch the hip on that extended leg side by putting both hands inside the knee, walk them over and bend your elbows. Bring yourself back to center, walk yourself around the, the flexed leg and bring your chest to that leg. Really lower. This will really help explode those hamstrings open if they need it. Good job. Oh, I'm, I'm loving this right now. I'm sorry. I need to come up, right? Put the hands back inside. Take yourself back to downward facing dog and push through. Other leg up and through those hands and lower the opposite leg. Let's get that hip in this position first. All right, come back on your heel. Lower your chest beside the knee. Walk it all the way over to stretch that hip. Walk it back to center to lower to that um, chest, that, to that thigh. Bring it back to center and we're gonna go into tabletop. So what I want you to do with tabletop is circle your hips. Just like we did at the beginning of the class, except we were standing. Five, six, really circle, seven and eight, reverse, one, two, three, four, really go there, five, six, seven and eight. Inhale, bottom and chin up. Exhale, curl up like this. Bottom and chin up, curl up like a cat. Bottom and chin up, tuck your toes under, curl up like a cat, bring it back to downward facing dog. Walk your hands into your feet. Bring yourself up to standing, dropping vertebrae by really Step side to side. Let your body just slide with it. Just like we do at the beginning, but we're not putting our foot behind this time. All right, bring it to center washing machine. I hope you enjoyed this. If that isn't rigorous, except that it's helping you identify how much support you need for balance, how much work you need to keep yourself balanced. That's something we should do a lot as because we're going to age. Whether you're aging now, I'm aging as I'm standing here. Four more. Four and three and two and one. So let's breathe it up three times. Every breath you take. Last time. Thank you for coming to Centering and Strengthening.